Hi, I'm Paqueta12 and today we play with the uh, Rubik's Cube. We ain't solve it, instead we just uh, play random moves. By clicking a button or we can have a LFO triggering the rotations. And uh, we can increase this uh, grid by a lot and still have a, a very nice FPS since um, Everything here is, is done in tops and so GPU will handle this with, with ease. So yeah, let's, uh, let's jump in and, and uh, try to rebuild this. I leave it aside to guide me. And uh, okay, let's see what we need uh, first. Uh, we need a constant chop in order to set the uh, grid uh, amount, okay? Let's... Uh, Let's start with a grid of five. So we'll have a, a cube five by five. And uh, okay. So what we do now, we use a UV component. Okay. And let's give it a, a, the same resolution as uh, our uh, grid. Okay. And uh, if you look now here, let's see the points. Okay, so we have a, a one slice of uh, our uh, Rubik, okay, and uh, we need uh, so many slices as we have the grid. In this case, we need uh, five slices, and so let's use a transform, okay, and uh, we go with the uh, uh, custom resolution, and we use this grid but the first one will be squared so yeah and uh, now the output aspect is uh, resolution and we need the uh, nearest pixels okay and we use this uh, um, parameter again for scale on uh, x and we use one divided by and now uh, on the pivot x we need zero and then a second tab we use uh, repeat and now we have five uh, slices but they are in the same positions right so wh while these uh, coordinates are re repeated so in order to to distribute the the points along the z-axis we use uh, a ramp and it's the resolution would be uh, grid by one and nearest pixels this one should be 32 mono okay and now let's uh, add this to together okay but we mask air and red and green since we only want to add the ramp values on the blue axis and a on the blue channel okay so we have this and now if we if we plug it in our null we see we have our uh, grid cube grid okay and uh, yeah the points are there okay we can uh, easily instance some uh, little cubes uh, there and uh, we have the starting position for uh, whatever rotation uh, it might uh, occur okay and now let's see what we need for one rotation so since um, every move will be the same as the the um, uh, last one actually just the difference is the the which axis which slice and uh, which direction of for for the rotation if if it's uh, clockwise or counterclockwise and so we need three values right and uh, we'll use uh, a noise stop for this uh, this has to be 32 RGB okay so uh, and um, the resolution will be one by one so we have actually here let's uh, let's see the um, yeah we have actually here uh, three numbers in between zero one okay and uh, yeah uh, while this is a, a simplex noise this might uh, 
go above one or under zero and we don't want that so we go with uh, a random gpu and now we have uh, uh, three values okay let's uh, let's use here we uh, put a null and we insert a null in order to make a folder okay okay let's go inside and okay i would like to to split the three channels into separate textures okay so i will go with um, reorder okay and i will color this red since i i'll take the red and this has to be 32 mono okay and now um, i use it again but uh, take the green and the last one will take the blue okay and the color blue okay and now let's see what value we have here i will use the top two for this and we only need the uh, red channel okay so we have this 0 0.9298 and uh, this first number I would love to to make it as the output will be either zero one or two since we have three axes okay and uh, yeah what if we we get out of 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 this uh, pixel three values zero one or two okay let's use a mod here and if in the input we have a, a number in between 0 and 1 we can multiply this number by three times since we have three axes okay and we multiply this by three and then we take the floor and if we do that so here is three and here it's a uh, floor okay now here we'll have zero one or two okay let's do this again for the green but instead we'll multiply with our grid so let's go here and drag this grid value instead of the three okay and uh, yeah let's check this one obviously it's, it's zero now but um, yeah let's um, if we go on this input noise and we change the seed okay here you see we have uh, zero one two three or four okay so we are good and now for the for the last one which will be the rotation okay i would like to have either one or minus one and for this we use a uh, uh, mod again and uh, instead we go with uh, round and now we have uh, either zero or one and we'll use a uh, uh, mod again okay oh, okay We'll use this math again and here we multiply by two and then in post add we subtract one and now this should be either one or minus one let's see so it's it's uh, one yeah and uh, obviously if we change the the seed we'll uh, have a different value and uh, okay we we good and now let's use um, uh, this out one and also maybe out two and uh, out three okay like this and we good we don't need this here okay and uh, yeah let's use three nulls to get out of this uh, folder okay and uh, yeah maybe i would like to always see the value here in order to to 
uh, see better what I'm doing. Okay, so uh, I will use um, three tops too. So the first one will be, um, I don't know, let's say uh, axis. Okay. And the second one, I use the same, but uh, I only change the name here into slice. Okay. And yeah, let's put it here. Okay. And another one for the last um, parameter. Okay, the last pixel. Okay. Okay. Now, what what we gonna do with those numbers? Okay. So uh, you see, we we always have uh, the the three values we need. And now let's do something uh, with uh, with what we got here in order to to complete one rotation okay so here in the um, axis okay let's uh, let's chain a null and then collapse selected since I would like to make something here in this uh, uh, folder and uh, what is this let me let me show you I would like to visualize uh, the that value, okay? And in order to, to see 0, 1, or 2, I would like to have um, black and white textures. Like uh, if I use a constant, okay? Let me show you. So um, we use constant top. We go with uh, uh, 3 by 1. And this has to be 32 mono, okay. Um, and now, by using a transform, okay, we can uh, offset this with minus two pixels, okay. And this is the texture that I, I would like to have. And if the axis is zero, that means the, the rotation would, uh, would uh, be on X axis, okay? I have the pixel here. If the axis is one, so it's Y, I will have the pixel here in the middle. And for the last axis, obviously I will have the pixel here, okay? How we do that? Now, we'll use a display stop and this time, we'll see uh, something with with uh, maximum precision. Okay, so let's use a, a displace. Okay, and maybe a, a one pixel uh, constant, maybe, uh, just to test something. Okay, uh, this is uh, mono, 32 mono. Okay. And what if we start with 0, 0.5? Now we displace with this uh, zero 0.5, nothing happened since zero 0.5 it's uh, uh, zero for the displace, okay? But what if we modify a little bit here, right? You see the pixel, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's displaced, okay? So here we go with, um, uh, instead of hold, we go with zero. And now for this value, whatever value I have, zero, uh, 0 0.34 okay so I have the 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 pixel where where it should be if the axis uh, is uh, y okay and so on if we uh, go further with this uh, value obviously we we can we can uh, uh, put the pixel where we want okay now we have this uh, input texture which uh, is on uh, uh, zero one or two okay and what if we use a mod okay and and the, the formula it's uh, quite easy I will type it as it is right and we will get some errors and then then we we make it uh, um, work okay so the the formula it's uh, 
whatever the input is, range this from 0 to uh, grid minus 1. Remember, you, we have 2 there, okay? And uh, you range uh, this from grid multiply 1 divided by 2 times grid. Okay, uh, 2, 1 divided by 2 times grid. Okay, now you, you, might, you might say, uh, what the hell is, is this? Okay, but uh, uh, yeah, let me show you if now I use this parameter, okay, I can drag this here in a in a empty field, okay, just to, to have it like this, okay. So let me modify a little bit. I will uh, go for uh, uh, dot dot slash like this is the same, okay. And now I would like to replace all the the uh, grids, okay, with this value. this and maybe here instead of okay and uh, now we good okay now yeah we we did something wrong <laughs> okay while we are on the axis for now and obviously the axis are three not the the grid number that's why we went for a five for the grid to not be confused by three for grid and three for axis and yeah let's make a, a correction here okay instead of what we we used okay we we type three okay we will be good so three and uh, like this okay and uh, yeah let's let's connect this now okay nothing happened let me check again so uh, it's uh, six six yeah let's make it a little bit shorter like this three So one, it should be, it's something wrong here. Let me check. Oh, now we're good. Okay, so the 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 this uh, expression, uh, yeah, was was there. So now, if if you notice. We should be on 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 uh, uh, axis one on y okay we have uh, one input so uh yeah we we good and out of out of here i would like to form an actually a pixel color according with with the the um the axis i have and uh, um i should get uh, vector direction for the for the rotation you see if if I have uh, uh, this okay and uh, I have one on on X and uh, uh, so the first pixel would be white and uh, then uh, black and black then I'll have this uh, vector okay and and so on for the for the others too and uh, we can do that by uh, I don't know using a group, okay? And um, we should use uh, here one divided by three. Okay. And uh, let's go for yeah. So this would be the. Let me check again. So the left, 
this is uh, uh, x okay let's make this red so here we go with one divided by three. Oh. okay the green the middle pixel we take it if we go one divided by three till two divided by three okay and um, the one to the right okay it's for the blue and we have it if it's two divided by three to three by three which is one okay and now we use um, reorder like this and let's go with input 2 for green input 3 for uh, blue and out and this reorder should be RGB now as you see here we have uh, the rotation vector if the axis uh, happen to be I know uh, wh whatever axis is uh, we, we have that vector and uh, let's do something I would say something similar but not not quite for for the slice okay so I would like to have that black and white uh, texture for visualization okay which then I will composite with something in order to get the value the exact value okay and uh, we can actually copy this folder okay and use it uh, till here yeah, we don't need this uh, reorder and uh, yes yeah, some some minor changes while well, this has to be uh, grid by one okay and here we um, translate by minus this plus one so it will be mi minus four which is nice now it's good and here now yeah we need uh, that uh, expression okay so let's let's take it again <laughs> okay Control x this time 0 instead and let's replace the tree okay this one here also okay uh, mul multiply one divided I, I will type like this uh, to to see it better okay multiply by 2 so now this is okay now let's see if we are good or not it seems something wrong again uh, this one so okay so one and this Why is why is this? I believe we need to we need to specify to be more precise. Yeah, it's something that I forgot. Vertical source would be none. Okay, and this this uh, time uh, is the same, but uh, here. Let's do the same. It's none. So now we are good. Okay so obviously it seems like it's slice uh, three okay we good and now i would like to to find out that value the the rotation axis coordinates for for all the points into a slice inside a slice so I would like to be precise when I grab the the points uh, the 
to, in order to, to rotate, okay? And for this, I will use a ramp here. And this has to be grid by one. Let's go nearest pixels, 32 RGB. Okay, and now if I multiply those two, like this, and I can use an analyze here. Okay, and I go with uh, maximum and uh, yeah, I have that value now. Okay. And uh, so I will grab this again. So now I have the, the axis, let's say the, the, the green axis, okay? And uh, a scalar value, okay, this one. Let's, uh, let's, let's see what we have here. So uh, 0 0.7, okay? So I multiply this vector which is uh, inside uh, this uh, pixel color, okay, RGB. If I multiply with that uh, 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 monochrome pixel color, which is 0, 05, I will get a vector shorter, okay? But the tip of that vector will be in the same plane with the points that I want to grab for the rotation, since, yeah, the rotation should, should be on Y axis, okay? And uh, yeah, let's let's multiply those two. Okay. Now I got them. I got that uh, that uh, 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 little vector, and I want to subtract. Not, not actually not subtract. I, I want to compute the the uh, differences between that point here and all all of the points I got. In, in, in my Rubik, okay? So for this, what if I select this uh, texture? Let's make this one, uh, yeah, a little bit bigger. Oh, there are many selected, okay. Okay, like this. Now I will grab my points with a select, Okay. And I go here and now I want to compute the difference differences. So uh, this is difference. Uh, like this. Okay. Now, obviously, for the for the coordinates the, this difference between those uh, uh, the one single point and all of the rest okay would also have three values on, for for x y and z what i know is for the rotation axis in this case on y okay we are on green the difference on y would be zero for some points that I need to grab. So this is the test that I, that, I, that I do. I check the distance from that tip of the vector, the small vector, with all the points, and check which uh, difference is zero on certain uh, axis, okay? And for this, let's go with um, a null, and let's insert here another null because we'll do a folder. Okay. Let's go inside. And uh, okay. Now I would like to to select not select, sorry, with the reorder. Okay. I would like to select the, the uh, red uh, channel. So this has to be 32 mono, okay? And it's red, let's go with uh, like this. 
this is green and this one here is blue okay and now I would like to see if I have zero here so I can do this by using a chroma key okay and uh, on val tab we go from val min 0 and val max is 0 0.001 we can go like that okay and uh, yeah let's make this uh, chroma key 32 rgba or in fact 32 mono plus alpha okay and let's use this for all and you notice on y on green line we do have a pixel with zero and that means that i have the pixels that i should grab them into a rotation okay now uh, i would like to to see different colors and so i go with uh, uh, reorder again because i want to to see the the actually the alpha here okay so this uh, can be 32 mono now like this obviously here would be full black and here again okay and after here i would like to have a switch okay since i do know the value for for what axis I, I i i need and so those lines are according with the axis okay and uh, um, yeah i can uh, i can go here and uh, take this axis value and put it here for the switch okay and now you see i have the the a texture black and white which I can use it to select those points okay okay now yeah let's uh, select those points we actually use uh, select again and I can I can take this I have it here okay and uh, let's go with the uh, uh, multiply okay and let's let's have a look on uh, this texture and uh, see it as a point okay you see I have the third the fourth uh, slice to rotate I have selected okay and uh, now we can use this wonderful wonderful component in uh, point cloud in the palette uh, point transform and this is uh, gorgeous I mean uh, yeah this is one of my favorite components and uh, let's go with this you see and now we we can rotate those points and um, yeah the for, for the for the rotation let's test rotation on y let's go uh, uh, like this you see the rotation actually uh, happened along the y and uh, yeah we need we need to do uh, a little uh, translate here so where we have those points we move the, the the cube cube points in the center and then we perform the rotation and then we move it back okay and let's let's go with uh, with this uh, how you how you translate it's uh, actually very easy we go here we use a mod and uh, let's go for nearest pixels here in range we range from 0 1 to minus 0 5 
zero five. Okay. Now, if you notice the rotation, it's happened in the center. Okay. Okay. Let's let's use a null. And now I would like to to offset offset back actually right so um, I can I can uh, use again a mod and this time uh, range from uh, minus zero five zero five from zero one so uh, we are good, but uh, uh, now we have uh, uh, this gray uh, region, which instead of being zero, as it should be, it's uh, zero 0.5 now. And uh, we can select this, this texture here. Let's use a select. So it's uh, base4 slash out1 maybe. Okay, and right after this math, we multiply again. Okay, and um, we are good. But instead of having those non-region, let's say, black, I would like to have them transparent. And uh, so I use reorder and uh, okay like this and let's go for uh, input to red for the the alpha and here we go with 32 RGBA nearest pixels okay and we have now the points that uh, uh, are going into rotation. Let's let's set uh, the rotation amount and also the the axis for for the rotation. Okay, and uh, yeah, I would like to to use uh, here. Uh, top two okay and i want to grab the out inside this base two so i will say uh, base two out one okay and uh, we we rename this uh, r x r y r from rotation y and rotation z rz okay and i would like to multiply this oh it's not uh, uh, it's a math actually yeah okay so i would like to multiply this with uh, this value okay And also with something that goes from zero to ninety, you know, to have the the uh, um, r rotation ramp, actually, okay. And for this, for this, we we use something uh, uh, made out of chops, and it's very easy. Let's uh, have a button, okay. Maybe I should start with this part, but um, yeah. Uh, this has to be momentary okay so when we click this button we want to perform a, a rotation okay let's see now uh, this into a null okay so i have zero one you noticed uh, if i keep uh, if i still press uh, i get a, a long one i don't want that so we use a trigger okay and the second tab everything is zero but the peak level Okay, and now I use uh, a timer 
chop and connect the second input and we done and uh, uh, let's set the length to one uh, on done reinitialize and uh, now we good in order to avoid double clicking like now okay I will drag the ready into the um, this button look or panel I believe yeah panel enable okay now only one click can be can be done okay we we good now obviously for each rotation we need different uh, numbers those three numbers axis slices and uh, rotations okay so uh, for that we can use a count here like this and uh, yeah let's see this count it's uh, it's going up and this will actually change the seed okay now every time we click a different axis a different slice uh, and a different rotation will uh, will be uh, there okay so yeah we 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 good and uh, we have this value time or fraction growing from zero to one and always uh, touch one this is very very important and uh, because we will use feedback and so yeah it's something recursive we, you you do this the, the the same operation over and over okay and so we start by rotating a slice and then from the last position after a completely rotation we take that position and we update the uh, points the, the the cube points okay as the next rotation we will start there and uh, using feedback you can easily uh, pass the precise 90 rotation okay so that's why we use this uh, timer okay let's grab this timer actually here I'll, first I'll, I'll, i will drop it <laughs> into uh, another field just uh, i hope this is not confusing for you okay so i want to go here and multiply with with uh, with that okay and uh, i believe we also need to multiply with 90. okay now let's click now and see uh, what we have here so now we have uh, the value for the rotation on uh, on, on different axes and uh, let's uh, use this here in point transform okay okay now let's go inside this gsl i would love like to have it nearest pixels okay now yeah this is it this texture when it it reached to the end of the rotation I, I would like to have it and put it over the initial one okay so i can do this by uh, using a feedback at the y let me show you so if i insert here a timer okay not a timer sorry a trail okay and i click now i would like to to stop this operator okay you notice this is timer fraction starting from zero in a linear ramp and uh, the moment it reach the end of the rotation it reach one i have a done signal okay and uh, this is uh, ready which is obviously zero during the rotation okay when the rotation is finished i'm right i'm ready for the next one and so on and uh, yeah let's uh, let's connect let's unlock this and also connect this trigger and you see when this trigger is on 
right at the beginning we already have the those three uh, numbers axis uh, slice and rotation okay so we, we are very good okay now let me stop a little bit how can I you see because I, I, I'm I'm going here and uh, I can I can see the the, the points you see and how can I stop this position when it reach one when I have done okay done a uh, channel it's one let's let's do like this so I use a feedback okay and here is the the only place where we need a, a line of code okay because i would really want to be very precise and so i would like to feedback this right when r right when I, I reach one okay right if if the next frame will will be uh, completely error you know if if i don't if i if i don't uh, have it uh, the 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 fully uh, one and uh, i i can do this by using here so yeah we, we we don't yes here you see uh right 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 here i, I would like I, now i can you might think that i can drag this down into the pulse field and uh, we we good Mm, not quite not not quite um you you will see why in a second so let me let me use here uh, chop execute okay i will consider the channel uh, done and i want to take uh, i want to i want to uh, code something while this condition it's it's uh, true off to on right so uh when, when done it's uh, zero one right there i would like to 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 stop that and uh, i can use a very easy expression now let's see i i had a little note uh, aside okay so it's operator feedback one the the one we we got there uh, parameter reset pulse uh, dot pulse uh, parenthesis and now let's let's see what's happened so let me let me make this a little bit bigger this button in order to move it okay and uh, yeah let's go here let's click you see here we have some points okay obviously when when, when they rotate they change colors and here in this one we will have the last step okay so let's press again you see so we we good okay now let me color this feedback black as i always do that and uh, and now if we use a feedback here okay which uh, or of course we we make it black okay right now i would say it would be nice to have a, a keyboard in so um, yeah and we'll use this uh, uh, key uh, to reset and pulse this and here we do the pulse we do the pulse by by the the uh, python expression but yeah i would like to have that uh, key reset the the feedback so i only use here okay now i would like to have a select here okay and uh, i will grab this feedback okay i got it here and now uh, I go with uh, over okay uh, 
and I do this this uh, over over the the initial position right so this is what, what I'm doing uh, okay and here I would like to have a switch okay like this and this switch is driven by this done okay and uh, this feedback takes this null back okay and uh, we we are good now I would like to to actually see uh, what we have here other than uh, uh, seeing into a texture so uh, what I like to do is uh, have a select and I select this okay and while this feedback is always a steady image with which it's uh, uh, taking um, it's, it's it's this is taken to in order to to update the position okay and it's steady the one above this null this is where the slice it's move is moving and then yeah let's let's take that into a select okay I take this null now and if I go this null over okay now I got what I what what I need let's uh, let's have this into a null like this and now what if we we uh, use some uh, dots like a, I use a sphere let's say so uh, okay it's uh, yeah and maybe smaller than this I use a transform now to scale it down one divided by uh, five maybe and geometry not handle is geometry okay instance let's take this texture here we go with r g and b now let me split the the screen let's go for geometry viewer okay now let's make the 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 sphere not instead first not mesh polygon maybe three here for frequency and for this scale I will go with uh, one divided by grid okay and maybe multiply with 0 0.3 okay you see now if I press I I have those points uh, doing uh, an, uh, an continuous uh, Rubik uh, a rotation okay uh, let's let's change the the sphere with a box so I use a box it's one by one here we go with we, we, we only only keep uh, one divided by the grid okay and now if I multiply here with uh, 0.975 we have uh, some um, some gaps in between now yeah let's let's go now now you notice the the boxes are not are not taking a good orientation while they are uh, uh, having the points uh, rotate uh, yeah the instance it's it's uh, staying still and we would like to to collect uh, that okay and um, I will show you a very nice way of of doing this and uh, I know this from uh, Ilya Drzaev I want to thank them thank him a lot for for the the all the teachings and um, it's based on on, a, on this principle um, a single point 
uh, into a point cloud or on this uh, uh, Rubik's cube uh, situation, we'll we'll get so many rotation, okay, in, in time, and so. When you when you want to use uh, uh, rotate to vector or uh, up to vector, you know you don't know where where that vector is. Uh, and maybe it's good to to take that vector from the beginning with you into all the rotations, okay? And what we can do here. I have my points. I would like to move those points on a uh, uh, x-axis and also s other points, the same, but move uh, a little bit on a y-axis. And then I, instead of having, uh, I have uh, three times the points I have now. So the computation, it's, it's uh, heavier, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a joke. It's, uh, it's, um, would be uh, uh, crazy fast. So yeah, I would I would use then I would use those points to to have the the orientation vector. Okay. Now let's insert here a null in order to make a folder. Okay. And in this in this folder, let's go with a, let's go with a mod. Okay. And uh, I want to add, actually, I want to add one, okay, but only on red channels. So I will mask green and blue. And I got this. And this, would, this point would help me uh, find out the vector, uh, rotate to vector. So I will color this with red. Uh, again, another mod, this time, I will mask red and blue and uh, yeah, the, the post add uh, the same one. Okay. And uh, here in this null, I have the, the, uh, uh, all the, uh, the point position. Okay. So let's uh, put this into a layout like this and we go for, uh, yeah, we need that um, grid. Okay, so this layout is actually, uh, we take the grid, okay, this is a square and this is multiplied by three, okay, and uh, we take the resolution and we go with uh, top to bottom, okay. Okay, now let's use this texture. Now, a couple things uh, uh, get broke, broke now. First, let's press one. Okay, so uh, we good here, here. We need something like, uh, okay, I wanna select and judge the selection of the slice I would like to to judge that only only uh, seeing the points, not not uh, the the uh, those red and and green uh, ones. And so I go with group here. And in order to have the the uh, bottom third here, we can go with one divided by three. Okay. And now everything is good, okay. And uh, let's see now. Now here I have the 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 let's say grabbing textures, texture, okay, which I, I on, also need to need to use it for for uh, the the uh, green points and the the red points, right? And so I use here the transform. And this, uh, let me check. 
yeah the transform should should be custom resolution i'll take the same this uh, grid now here we go with square here with multiply by three okay and um, here it's zero for the y pivot and here it's uh, one divided by three and uh, in tile we go with repeat and now we have this obviously when we select now okay we do this okay let's see and also this select now should take this texture instead so we take this okay we good and uh, yeah i believe it's good let's see yeah maybe it's not that good yet oh so let's see what we need to adjust here oh i know now here we have a, a so big uh, uh, texture instead of the points we need we have three times more but we need uh, we need to do something so now that we have the the uh, translated point on the x y on uh, on the x axis and on the y axis right uh, it's like we we set a point here and here and uh, our our point is in the in the middle and we we take those two also and uh, whatever the rotation is you know now we have that point and we do the the subtraction between this one and the the green and the red one and we, we'll get the vector we need to orient the instances let's do that so uh, a null here collapse selected because we do a little folder and now uh, let's let's take this so uh, we use a group this is uh, one divided by three here so we have the points we don't need this one here we have the the green the green vector let's say uh, it's one divided by three and uh, till two divided by three and now two divided by three and till one which is three divided by three and the points are this okay now we we good and let's use a, also an out for uh, for the other two so like this and uh, not only this out but but somewhere on those lines i would like to make subtraction so i subtract the points here and i'll do that again for the for the green texture and now i have exactly what i need those uh, like this so i can use those two textures here in the second tab rotate to vector i'll take this one red one okay we go with r g and b and uh, pre-root instead of default and rotate up we take this r g and b now yeah finger cross now and uh, let's perform a rotation now it's perfect you see and uh, yeah while we will do something for the colors let's have here an lfo instead okay so we we have an lfo okay and uh, yeah maybe a little bit faster if i go here with um, 
1 divided by 4 maybe and here with uh, 3 and not sign instead pulse okay maybe it's too fast you can always put a trail here and when it's happened this it, it's it means that here on, on in a down section for the for the timer for the uh, red one uh, yeah it's um, either too too little space or uh, you know let's let's go back with one and uh, why is this you can see it's one divided by three oh okay okay now maybe the the count did this count i want to use the 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 key to reset this okay because now let me let me see why we with oh oh yeah it's is is because uh this button uh, has the channel names v1 and now we have a uh, chain one so uh ah yeah v1 now we good so obviously there is no space you see there is no space here it just drops down and goes up and uh, it's uh, it's a fully mess so you need to take care this is uh, so now you go one divided by four and three here let's re re uh, press one for a reset and restart and uh, yeah or uh, maybe one divided by three and two there okay now let's uh, let's do something for 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 the colors okay because um, we we can we can have this texture which is the the initial point position okay or uh, we can have uh, yeah let's let's grab that uh, uh, into this top this select and uh, yeah come here and uh, null okay let's make all those textures uh, a crazy color because then I, then I know I use them for instancing okay and uh, I'll take this and uh, use it for the colors here okay and now every time I press one I have uh, so you see sometimes it's working and sometimes it's not and uh, while now it's good uh, I suppose in the time I, I go out of this container so here it will break you see the the colors are not staying where where they should be so only if I go inside it seems to work again but uh, yeah it's very unstable you know and uh, there is a, a, a reason for this and um, I will uh, I will explain you uh, why is this we have a loop here a feedback loop okay and we compute something and then then we compare it with with those points and we do that by using a select and uh, we we select those points and uh, we have them here in this in this select that's why sometimes we have this uh, um, yellow uh, warning there is uh, some uh, uh, loop dependencies okay and we can fix that by let's instead of having this select let's have a constant and another feedback so I use a constant let's see this is 25 by 15 it sounds like uh, 
uh, I'm having the grid here and this goes uh, square and this uh, is multiplied by 3 and um, yeah but I would like this to be uh, black so it's 0 actually and uh, 32 RGB and now I use a, a feedback here and I take this texture and the moment I use it let's let's make uh, nearest pixels okay okay now let's see because uh, we have something wrong here oh this select uh, this select now now it should take this feedback and now we good yeah so this is uh, the the uh, points where we we uh, range from 0 1 to uh, minus 0 5 plus 0 5 in order to to rotate them um, uh, where where uh, they should rotate okay and uh, yeah let's let's change this uh, grid to to 3 and uh, press 1 and uh, yeah this is uh, actually a super fast uh, method it only takes uh, one line of code this one and this is because we actually want to uh, let me stop this a little bit right so this done change the switch okay but right before that switch I would like to uh, to to have that uh, 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 last position texture okay so by the doing the pulse while off to on it's in this segment and actually it's kind of sub frame uh, timing and uh, yeah so we can we can go uh, crazy with this uh, uh, let's say 32 maybe let's let, let's see and um, yeah the the fps is still there okay so uh 64 I, I believe it's it's good 64 too you know yeah and uh, now even if we we go out of that container everything it stays uh, perfect and precise um, okay and um, one uh, one more thing uh, i want to show you it's uh if we go back uh, to three by three let's say so three we can use uh, uh, something for uh, having the the round edges for the cubes. It's much more uh, nicer, maybe. Let's let's see what we have here. What mistake we have? Set the number is is okay. So now, oh, here it's also, but we are good now. So let's connect this. Okay, and go for um, step eight, maybe, and uh, yeah. So um, also uh, you can uh, you can use some some other um, type of geometry if you if you like. So yeah. This was my tutorial. I really hope you like this. The, the file will be available to download for everyone. And um, yeah, hit the like button. Uh, if, you, if you liked what, uh, what I, I showed you and um, subscribe if you haven't already, uh, comment below. Uh, you'll help the YouTube algorithm uh, spread this uh, uh, technique. And um, you can support me on Patreon, you'll get access to um, a lot more uh, tutorial, and um, also I, I'll go into some optimization techniques for this particular algorithm. Um, a big thanks to all my patrons, especially to Anti Allies, Brandon Tay, Brake Wood, Brian Smith, Connor Carnes, 
Daniel Clark, Darian Brito, Dimitri Diac, Doia, Fraxinus, Kevin Greber, Leo Torres, Moreno Belic, Paul Trall, Brian Givord, Robert Elderton, Srill Bridger, Siskil Me, Tom Dream, Vincent Naples. Guys, thank you so much.